Home organization can have a huge impact on how your space looks and feels. I'm gonna help you tackle some of the most commonly cluttered areas of your home to turn them into functional spaces that will actually stay organized. We're gonna tackle an entryway, a pantry, a coat closet, and the dreaded area under your sink. All right, let's start in the entryway. The situation we have here is super common. You walk in the door, you drop your keys, kick off your shoes, there's mail and packages piling up. It can become a mess really quickly, but I have some ideas to create an intentional drop zone that are gonna work much better. I love the idea of utilizing the wall for extra function to save floor space. Installing floating shelves is a great way to add function and style. Make sure that your shelves are securely fastened. Either find studs or use heavy load anchors. I love multi-purpose spaces, so you could also add bins or baskets. Bins work great to store things like extra envelopes and stamps or small packages. I'm taking a traditional cabinet knob and attaching it to the wall to act almost like a hook. It can hold a purse or a hat or even your keys. Get your mail sorted with a hanging mail organizer. Not only will this keep mail off all your surfaces, but this way you'll never lose that bill or important piece of mail again. It took me less than an hour to completely transform this space. Now it looks great and is totally functional. By the way, you can find links to the products we're using in this video in the description below. The pantry is an area that can get really messy really quick with all the day-to-day -day use. This pantry here just has tons of stuff thrown in with no rhyme or reason. We're about to fix that. The first step is to take everything out of your pantry. We're talking everything. Place all items in an open area where you'll have plenty of time to sort later. Next, I wanna give this pantry a nice overhaul with a new shelving system. But before I install the new shelves, I wanna give the inside of this pantry a quick paint job. I know some of you out there are saying I'm crazy for painting the inside of a pantry, so if you don't care that much, don't worry, you can skip this step. But for me, it makes a big difference. I want any part of the wall that's gonna show through to look clean and perfect, so I'm painting it. I cut my wood shelves down to size to fit this pantry. I'm going to install a simple ledger board on each wall for the shelves to sit on top of. Remember when you do this to measure and vary your spacing between the shelves so you're able to accommodate taller and shorter items. Those cereal boxes are pretty tall. These shelves will make it easier to store bins and organizers on an even flat surface and will be able to hold more weight. I also want to tweak the layout a bit to make it more functional. We're going to add a pull-out drawer organizer at the bottom for storage. Now it's time for reorg. Before putting anything back into your pantry, take a look at your items and make sure nothing is stale, expired, if so, toss them out. Sort your products into baskets and bins by category and designate areas of your pantry for various food items. As a rule of thumb, the items that you're using the most should be kept at eye level. Kids' snacks should be in an easy to reach area so they can help themselves. Once you assign a place for everything in your pantry, label it as a visual reminder of where everything belongs. Here's a great idea for clear containers, and you don't even have to have awesome handwriting. Just print the words out in your favorite font on plain paper. Slip it into your canister and trace with a chalk marker. It looks cute, and you can wash it and swap it out as needed. One area you might not think to utilize is on the inside of your door. Mounted door shelves are a great place to add additional storage. Just make sure you have enough clearance inside your pantry so that the door can still close. I intentionally made the shelves inside a bit more shallow. This allowed me to be able to add that functional door storage solution and still be able to close the door. In just a couple hours, we completely transformed this pantry. It looks great, but most importantly, it's completely functional. Next time you go to grab a snack, you're gonna know just where to find it. Up next, the coat closet. And it can kind of be a catch-all for all the things, but that's okay because we are about to organize all the things. This closet is jam-packed with coats, out-of-season clothes, cleaning supplies, and even a few mystery boxes. We're gonna give this space an all-new feel with some organizational tools and a little TLC. Step one, take everything out of the closet, including the upper shelf. Like the pantry, I do care about how the inside of this closet looks, so I'm actually gonna give it a fresh coat of gray paint. Here's a great trick for your coat closet. Consider using a closet organization system. I know you probably would only think to use one of these in your bedroom closet, but they're a great way to keep your entry closet organized too. I've got a closet kit that'll give us plenty of room to store an array of items. And again, I'm a big proponent of using the inside of your closet door for extra storage if you can. It's a great space to sneak in some extra organization. In this closet, we have the luxury of it being two hinge doors versus bifold. I'm gonna add some hooks to store tote bags. It's also a great place for a utility multi-tool hanger to store brooms, Swiffers. The more items you can get off the floor, the better. This space looks so much better and we were able to incorporate all the items that we had in there before and still have space for more. 
Now that's a transformation. An undersink cabinet can be a super tricky place to keep organized. Things just get tossed in and when one thing falls, everything falls and the mess is even worse. I'm gonna take care of that dilemma right now. Our first step is to take everything out from under the sink and give the bottom of the cabinet a really good wipe down. Before purchasing any storage, it's important to measure your space and see what you're working with. Pipes underneath the sink can make this space a bit awkward, so make sure you measure carefully to make sure that any storage you're adding will fit. Here, we're using a two-tiered kitchen caddy to store cleaning solutions and supplies. We're using a caddy on a pull-out track so we can access everything without having to reach way into the back of the cabinet. Stackable baskets are a good option for keeping cleaning tools like dust cloths and rags. Command hooks are going to be your secret weapon for staying organized under your sink. Stick them on the inside of your cabinet to hang smaller items. That didn't take long at all, and now under the sink is under control. And that is how to organize your home one trouble space at a time. Hopefully you feel encouraged to tackle the clutter in your home. And don't forget that the products used throughout this video are linked in the description below. Want to learn more? Be sure to subscribe to the Lowe's YouTube channel for great step-by-step -step and how-to videos.